Hey guys, this is uh, Rick Lumsby from Adamant Toys here. I thought I'd give a little commentary on uh, my Zavani X run, try to give you a little bit of insight into what I do during this fight to help optimize myself and uh, the overall group DPS. So you can see here we start off, I pop off all my regular buffs, do my regular rotation, pop Power Surge Jump a little early than I normally would, just so it lines up so I can get out of the um, the Flare Star AoEs here a little earlier. You can use my other stuns in the meantime. Move over out of the group. We bait those over at the top right corner. Leave some room for the Black Mage way at the back. You can see we do quite a lot of damage here, running a really uh, non-standard comp. Got three Dragoons, a Bard, and a Black Mage. Already got it down to 82% before the third platform falls. Really cool stuff there. But yeah, uh, our Dragoon dies here. I'm not exactly sure how. I'd have to rewatch the footage. But, um, we do still manage to get him down to quite a good percent. We're definitely going to skip the for sore mechanic. Platform falls. I'm able to refresh my Blood of the Dragon right at the end there. And just wait for him to become targetable again, spamming my Heavy Thrust. As we like to do, get my stun off, go immediately into my regular rotation. We do a little bit of a non-standard thing here. We have the boss face the south instead of the north. Uh, in this kind of scenario, you usually will have the tank run all the way through since the party tends to spawn at the back, during at the south during this position. But we did it differently here. Uh, we get, we do skip the sore, we get the ice pedal to fall down, just waiting out the biting halberd. Regular rotation stuff happening during here. A lot of downtime in this fight. Uh, we get the biting halberd to run over it here. I do get stuck in the pedal for just a second, but everybody makes it out okay. We wait here to bait out the Southern Cross. Everybody moves clockwise, except for the tank, who runs counterclockwise, and that goes smoothly. Once again, just regular rotation stuff, waiting for the adds to spawn. Getting the cyclical mechanic, so everybody just stays still. Now that mechanic can be one of three things. It will be that cyclical, it can be tail end, which you have to run out to the end for, or it can be another biting halberd. So we know the, the adds are going to first spawn at the north, so I run straight there, do some AoE stuff, get off, get off the KF Skogel right there, get my uh, Blood of the Dragon back up, and then regular rotation, get them all down pretty quick. I rotate clockwise to the first wit, the other two can join me, and we're DPSing that down pretty quickly. Not much else to say about that, but we do get it down, and the fear goes off, I, back, I jump just to get in position quicker and then we continue to DPS down like normal. Really not all that exciting, but we do get the, all the adds down and move on to the next set. Next wit spawns immediately counterclockwise to that set. Clockwise, excuse me. And we get it down the same way. I actually make a bit of a mistake here. I, um, I popped my, uh, my regular buffs like Blood for Blood and, and uh, Internal Release. I actually normally use those on the second set. I was using a bit of a uh, of a different rotation than normal because of the three chicken comp. I was using Litany in different places. Normally, as a dragoon on this fight, you can um, you can start phase three with everything up already if you uh, pop out your cooldowns on that second set of adds instead of the third like I did. Bow to my So we get the ultimate from the boss. Leaves everybody at about half. Healer pops out with Medica 2, gets all of us back up. Healer is facing the A target again, and we all stack up towards the back to get ready for the tether mechanic. Now what you see me us do here, we kind of spread out just a little bit to uh, see who has what. So we're able to identify exactly who has what. I saw the Dragoon jump, I saw that I was tethered to him, so thankfully I was able to work that out pretty quickly. So we stay in position here for Southern Cross. The tank comes over to join us. Once again the tank runs counterclockwise, we run clockwise. And then you can see me start to kind of put myself into position. I want to wordlessly, like, tell my partner, hey, I want to go over this direction, as opposed to just, like, chaotically running around any which way. 
They already have a freeze on that side, so I get my guy over here. So once again, this can be one of any three things. I got lucky here and got Biting Halberd. Uh, the other group members did not get quite as lucky. Oh, wait, never mind, I'm thinking of a different one. But yeah, um, that can also be cyclical, it can be tail end. It's, just, it's all RNG. So we get in position again. We do not turn it back to A, we just stay in place. The wave cannon goes out, he moves over. We spread out a little bit more to see who we're tethered to. And I believe I'm tethered to the Bard here. No, I'm tethered to the Dragoon. Again. So yeah, we stand still, bait out the Southern Cross again, once it spawns. And then once it goes up, again we rotate counterclockwise, we rotate clockwise, tank goes counterclockwise. Getting it down to 15%, we're gonna get one more thing. We, um, again, I start to wordlessly bait out my partner saying, hey, I wanna go into the tank side. He comes and joins me. And then we're immediately close to the boss. This is a really good pattern for melee DPS, especially, since we can keep wailing on the boss while waiting on the phase to change. And we get a tail end here, so I see that, I run all the way out. Back in, start to DPS it down. And then we're getting on the last sword. Now I do get a little bit greedy here, I try to LB2 the boss before he disappears. And uh, he does disappear. But thankfully we did get an easier pattern so we're able to adjust pretty quickly. I did get hit by this, but it wasn't enough to bring me down. I see that I'm low, but I, the healer's got us, so I stack in. It leaves me very low, but it is okay. A couple of our members die, but it doesn't matter, we're at 1%. The Demon's Claw does not matter. VLB2, we win the fight. And there you have it. That is my thoughts on Zervani X, my thought process. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to explain anything in depth. And that's about it. We'll see you guys next time.